Hi, I'm Dave Gottfeld, President of Kinesio Capture. I thought I'd share with you today some requests we've been getting, which is, what are some key ways to use Kinesio Capture? The beauty of our product is it's in the creativity of the person that holds it. Based on your experiences and your expertise, you can be as creative as you want. But I thought I'd share with you today how I assess gait. Now, there are a million ways to assess gait. There's no one way to assess gait. This is just a way to do it. I'm going to show you some of the features and functions of Kinesio Capture and how I do in every single client that comes through my door. I see how they walk. We're just taking a look at normal gait. When the client comes in your office, how are they moving? The great thing about Kinesio Capture is you can actually break down, slow down segments, look at individual areas. Say you want to look at the left foot front striding gait, what's exactly happening? You can also use tools like the postural grid to look for drift. Put a center line on the body. Are they drifting one way or the other? Is the foot cross the midline on one side more so than the other? Again, this is just information that you are gathering. Long stride is a great way to really look for compensations. So when they take that long stride, how does that front foot land? Does it land with a thud? Is it different from one side to the other? Are you seeing that back heel whip off the ground? Can they clear that ankle or that hip? but you can just basically go forward and backwards and just take a look for information or look for asymmetries in the body. Pigeon toe takes away all the hip rotation and you'll watch how bodies will pre-position to areas of success. If you watch Blake here walking, look at his right elbow flaring out and his thoracic spine is pre-positioning to the right. Again, information that you'll add to your assessment. The arm driver is a great way to take a look at the entire body as a whole and how forces translate through the core. When he drives his arms, what happens to his pelvis? Does it stay forward? Do his feet spin around on the ground? Retro walking is a great way to see if someone can clear their ankle or their hip. If you watch Blake here, watch his right heel, you'll cl see clear as day. He's got a major heel whip, and the question is why. Again, you'll use your other assessments to find out and dig deeper, but it's good information. Watch his right heel whip as he tries to clear through it. I'll use quick reference guide like the bullseye. Put it right at subtalar neutral on the foot. Sometimes I'll mark it and see how far does that hip whip in. Great quick information. This is just a single leg balance excursion to see do they have rotation in the hip or that lower leg musculature. How easily does that arch draw up and how quickly does it collapse and how stable are they? Just a light toe tap. The nice thing about Kinesio Capture, put the two images side by side and compare the two, looking for asymmetries. This is just a single leg hip excursion, starting with toe touch to ankle height to knee height to hip height, and just looking for his ability to actually balance and stabilize and have motion in that hip throughout gait. Is there a difference between the left and the right side? Is he more comfortable from one side to the other? Ankle height. Ankle height. Knee height. Knee height. Waist. And then side by side comparison. Very powerful tool to show an athlete recovering from an injury the differences between the two sides of the body and how they may be compensating.